You guys know that CJRB has been a company I have liked a lot for a long time, but now they've really stepped up their game. They've got a whole bunch of new releases, and they are doing some button locks that I swear have definitely changed the game for the budget realm. So let's take a look at these five knives from above. So we're going to start with this brand new, newest offering, the CJRB Riff. So this CJRB Riff is their newest drop. This is a great, great knife. You are looking at a very tactical style folding knife. You've got a nice clip point, almost buoy style blade, beautifully ground ARRPM 9 steel. Coating is great. You've got this big fuller flat micarta scales. They have several different versions of this, um, but these are done in their great, great button locks that they're putting out. The, just listen to that. Listen to this. That action is great. These button locks have really stepped up their game. This is possibly one of the coolest, newest uh, drops that they've done in a very long time is this CGRB Riff. I've really been looking forward to this one coming out. I love this knife. Super comfortable in hand. Has a very, a very similar styling to a lot of the arcane designs where you have all kinds of facets. Beautiful ground blade. I know that there's some satins. I know that there's some of the coated ones. They've got green micarta, black micarta. I think they have a couple other different versions. But I was looking forward to this drop so much because I wanted to be able to present you guys a video of this knife. And still, it definitely hits all the wickets for a very, very cool knife. If you're looking for something along the lines of a tactical-esque folder this might be up your alley great great grip on this it's just a beautiful knife all around i like the black on black not just because it films better but because it's a very very attractive package so there you go cjrb riff i'll have links to all of these down below this is the cjrb echo and this is currently even though i had another knife that was in its spot this is currently my pick for knife of the year and for a budget knife to be taking that spot this early in the year man i gotta tell you the prototype was here it has spent so much time in my pocket you cannot go wrong with either version is they have a liner lock version and micarta and g10 and then they have a steel version that also has this is the steel version they have this same version that also has some overlays on it i think that this steel version is just shy of perfect button lock and top flipper and i typically don't like top flippers but the ray laconico top flippers have always been money this is probably one of the most comfortable knives in hand to use and cut with beautiful ARRPM 9 blade that is ground down to a laser laser cutting edge this is one of the best cutting knives i've had in in a very long time both versions of this super comfortable in hand this might actually be more comfortable in hand for some people because you've got these uh these completely chamfered scales that come around fit the hand really well you've got a very beautiful blade with the aperture in it for reverse flick the most satisfying deployment on a knife these are absolutely brilliant I think this is my favorite Laconico design, and he has yet to make a design I don't like. So really, really dig this. Like I said, even top flipper, not a problem. Beautiful, beautiful button lock on this. This is the one that has my spot right here. The Steel Echo has my spot for knife of the year right now, even over some $400 and $500 knives. The next two knives are technically the same model, but they are so far different, so far removed from each other that I'm going to treat them as separate knives. And they are the two new versions of the Pyrite. This is the Warren Cliff Pyrite. So you've got a lot of the things in this that I wanted in the original Pyrite, but you don't have the difficulties that I had. So the Pyrite, I wanted to be able to reverse flick it. This new Pyrite, this Warney, has got an aperture you can reverse flick. You've got this beautiful Warren Cliff blade that is probably the best blade shape they could have put on this for a knife like this. You've got these beautiful steel liners, or I'm sorry, steel scales that have had a lot of weight reduction on them. ARRPM steel on all these knives that we're seeing today is a very good choice for the budget realm. It is one of my current favorite budget steels, and it's becoming one of my favorite steels, period. Takes an edge, holds an edge, very, very rust resistant. And in this button lock format on this knife, this Warrencliffe is just about perfect. This is the black coated version. There's several different versions of this one as well, but I really like these all black blades. I like the time, I like the ones that they do that have the colored pivots, but this thing 
is, in my opinion, the perfect version of the Pyrite. Had this come to me first, this Pyrite, I would have been really hesitant to send the Pyrite off as a giveaway. I didn't like the drop point anywhere near as much as I like this. Even, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a great knife. This still does not come as close to knife of the year territory as the Echo, but it's close. If you've got smaller hands, this is a very, very good knife. It's still comfortable in my hands. It's just not quite what the Echo is to me, but would absolutely recommend this knife every day for a good, good work knife. So. Um, let's move on to the last one, which is another version of the Pyrate, but right after you hear from Coffee Brand Coffee, this video sponsor. Guys, you guys know I love coffee. I even have my own personalized coffee mug. But did you know that a lot of the coffee companies out there take a lot of the money that you give them that they should be throwing back into the company to make a better product and turn it into activism dollars? Coffee Brand Coffee does not do that. They take no stance politically any direction. They take all the money that they make and try to make a better product. So if you want to support this channel and a company that I absolutely do like the fact that they don't lean either direction politically, check out Coffee Brand Coffee. There's a link down below that will save you 5% at checkout or or you can use the coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. They also have cold brew coffee, teas, and cocos, freshly ground and roasted to order. So check them out, support them, and support this channel. So there have not been any real changes on this version of the Pyrate. This is just the titanium version. I got to say, it just feels so there's something about titanium. I don't know if it's that it warms up to the hand faster than steel. Even though the weight is comparable, it just feels different. It has a different feel. This is a full titanium, not like the one that was on white uh, Blue Ridge knives. This is absolutely full titanium. The other one was titanium scales on top of steel liners. This is a full titanium pyrite. It is beautifully balanced. I think that the weight difference in the titanium makes the weight balance feel different. The blades on these, awesome. This is a great, great blade shape. This is a great knife. Runs on thumb studs. I can't, re I can reverse flick off of it, but it's not near as comfortable. Um, I would have rather had an aperture in this, but this is an awesome knife um, running on thumb studs. No flipper. So you get that clean, clean look. You don't have anything protruding in the closed position. And like I said, CGRB's button locks have really changed their entire game. They are putting out some of the best budget button locks out there. To tell you the truth, I actually would put their button locks up against a lot of more expensive companies' button locks. These things are great. This whole lineup that they've had come out here just recently has definitely stepped up their game. If you have not checked any of these out, like I said, there'll be purchase links down below for all of them. These are amazing, amazing knives for the price. I think this is the most expensive one. If not, it's the Riff that is the most expensive, but the Riff is on sale now for like $30 off its listed price. It's still under $100. So five knives under $100 from CJRB and they're all great. So let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, send you out about your day. So there you go, guys. Those, all five of those knives, uh, both versions of the Echo, both version of the Pyrate, and this Riff are just amazing. And this Echo is probably the best knife I've seen so far this year. Uh, it's absolutely taking my spot as the, the knife of the year for right now. So if you want to pick up any of these knives, there'll be links down below. I know I mentioned Coffee Brand Coffee, but I'll mention it again. They are a big-time channel sponsor. If you want to support this channel, you can go to any of my sponsors, Tempered Trail, Coffee Brand Coffee, or Doll Strong Knives. Tempered Trail and Coffee Brand Coffee same, save, share the same coupon code, discount code, which is crazy sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S. Saves you 5% at checkout. It definitely supports the channel. I have an Amazon store down below. If you take that link and you pin it to your browser and use that for all of your shopping, you can search Amazon just like a regular Amazon browser. And I have ideas lists down below of recommended knives and tools and things like that in that link. And I also have a membership down below. It is all tier based. All tiers get access to my Gilded server. Baseline and premium tier members are automatically entered into giveaways that I do on the Gilded server. And the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series that's here on YouTube behind the paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.